I think we're on. Hold on, guys. What is up? Hey, if we're live, let me just check here. I can't tell if we're on, if we're on yet, though. Uh, come on. Well, it says we're live, which is totally weird. Why am I not seeing it? Let me see here. If you guys are here, please type in and let me know that you can see me. For some reason, I'm not there. There we are. We got a few of you here already. All right, cool. What is up, guys? Good evening. Happy Monday to you. Just want to check in with you. It's been a little while since I've done one of these live streams. Today, we're talking about nose breathing and the importance of that and tips to get you nose breathing. And what I think to be one of the hidden benefits that is not often talked about enough when it comes to mouth taping. And that will be having to do with allergies in your environment, mold, food sensitivities, etc. So if you if you like the idea of sleeping better, having better dream recall, being more insulin and leptin sensitive, you definitely want to consider mouth taping because that practice can, no kidding, totally transform your body's physiology by not causing small little micro interruptions throughout your sleep that you're probably not even consciously aware of because when your body's gasping for air, when you become temporarily paralyzed and if you're breathing through your mouth, what happens is your tongue collapses on your airway and guess what? Your body thinks it's you know a, a stressful event and uh, catecholamines, cortisol will be released growth hormone production will decline so you can be aging faster and not even know it that's why i love mouth taping and that's why i'm rocking this shirt just got this from somni fix today nose breather if you guys want a shirt like this let me know i can uh, i'll put a link after this video gets published it's streaming live right now uh where you can learn a little bit more about this i also made t-shirts through bonfire um we didn't really launch a campaign successfully, but it was all about promoting mouth taping and everything like that. So if you're into that, hit the comment bar, hit that like button, let me know, and I can bring those shirts back for you. So um, the Somnifix product, what I like about this, you guys know, uh, talk about this quite a bit. It's a really cool product because, you know, last week I was traveling to do some cool interviews. Uh, let me just kind of maybe pop up some of these. You guys might know this guy, Dr. Stephen Gundry. Uh, MD, let's see who else we got. Um, last week was super busy week, guys. Um, so super busy week filming and all that sort of stuff. Oh, we got Ben Bickman. Let me get that uh, with Ben Bickman. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of share with you uh, pictures about all this stuff last week. And I ran out of the purpose of me showing you these pictures and all that uh, while I was filming last week in Salt Lake City and LA and everything is I ran out of my Somnifix. So uh, I just packed a few of them and. And I gave, ended up giving them away to different you know, people that I was uh, hanging out with and stuff like that just for them to try, so I was out. And I went to the store and just got a 3M Micropore tape. And I spent like five minutes in the dark trying to figure out the end of the tape and I, I just got really frustrated. And so that's why I like the Somnifix product um, because you just, tear, you just take a little piece out, okay? Um, it's a little hypoallergenic mouth strip like this, rip it open. It literally takes seconds and you have it, you can do this in the dark. I've been, done that now for months and you have the mouth tape ready to go. I was sitting there in my uh, Airbnb and my flight got in late from Salt Lake City after meeting with Drew Manning. Let me pull up uh, Drew Manning. You guys know him, fit too fat, too fit. So had a really good podcast with him, flew to LA to meet with Dr. Stephen Gundry and, um, <laughs> and it was super late at night, okay? Um, I was out of my Somnifix because I gave them around to different friends and stuff like that. And this Micropore tape, it seriously took me like five, seven minutes. I was frustrated. And anyway, it just reminded me to tell you all, uh, in case you've tried that before, um, you know, in case you've had that experience before, it can be a little frustrating. So I'm going to check the feed, just see if you guys have any questions. Um, and basically just touch and base. I, you know, this is super kind of informal last minute. Just wanted to uh, connect with you guys here. Let's see what kind of questions are coming up here. You're on. Hey, Mike, what's up? Can see you. What's going on with mouth tapers? Yeah, cool, guys. Um, you know, mouth taping. So here's kind of the, oop, I got to clear that. Uh, I got to clear that. So we get Drew Manning out of there. Clear layer. Oh, come on. Boom. There we go. All right. So I cleared the layer, so you, so that's out of there. Yeah, so the hidden benefit, here's one of the hidden benefits that I think uh, we don't often talk about enough. And that is that if you have subtle uh, food sensitivity, so a lot of people on the ketogenic diet, you know, are having cottage cheese and cheese and, um, you know, other processed food-like products, right? Because they're low carb. Okay, that's fine. If it's better than Cheetos and Doritos and bread, fine. But 
Uh, a lot of people are sensitive to dairy and dairy-like products and other food additives, synthetic sweeteners, low-carb sweeteners, and they don't know it. Okay, That is until you try mouth taping and you're forced to breathe through your nose. You see, a lot of times when we have hidden allergies and sensitivities to food, um, mold in our environment, maybe some like chemical products we spray in our, on our face, hair, skin, nails, you know, things like that can cause uh, increased mucus production. They're mucilaginous in nature and so forth, especially dairy in general. Again, I'm not anti-dairy. I do have ghee and stuff like that, but just, just hear me out. Um, a hidden benefit of mouth taping is figuring out what in your environment is causing you to have your nose clogged. And so, you know, it's interesting, right? When we, we attribute a hangover, uh, to how the alcohol is dehydrating, how the alcohol, uh, you know, kind of affects like cerebral spinal fluid and all that sort of stuff. So we get a hangover. Uh, there's a blast of glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter. So uh, too much of that can cause uh, glutamate excitotoxicity and brain damage and all that sort of stuff associated with excessive alcohol consumption. But also, alcohol can kind of cause damage to the gut layer. This has been shown at, I remember a Boston college uh, study where uh, students were given five shots of vodka and they looked at the permeability of the gut and there was a dramatic, you know, a parallel increase between blood alcohol level and gut permeability. So if that's happening, you're letting in antigens and so forth and then, you know, your immune system gets activated and all of a sudden your nose is clogged. You know, if you're, if you're not in tune with your body, um, and mouth taping and being aware of the fact that, wow, I can't breathe through my nose right now. What's going on here? Maybe I should pay attention to this, right? So that's, I think, a hidden benefit. In addition to the, all, the other kind of proven benefits of ameliorating sleep disorder breathing, right? Dr. Mark Bahena, who we've had on the show many times over at askthedentist.com has talked a lot about this. How particularly women, um, you know, because we, we think of, you know, men having big fat necks, big chest, barrel chest and all that. Uh, it's pretty obvious that sleep apnea might be a problem. But there's a lot of, you know, lean women, you know, relatively, uh, that he talks about that, that have sleep disorder breathing. And, and it's affecting their hormones, their cravings, their blood sugar, their inflammation and all that. So, hidden benefit, guys, is if you have mold, food sensitivities, uh, things you're not necessarily aware that you're sensitive to. When you start mouthing, you'll become microsensitive because all of a sudden your nose will be clogged up and you won't be able to sleep or breathe very well and also sleep very well. Whereas before, the default mode would have been just to breathe through your mouth and you would have never known. You just would have woke up feeling a little unrefreshed. And you could have attributed that to many other things like looking at your iPhone, watching Netflix, um, you know, all that. So, all right, let me get to your questions. I want to make sure that's part of doing these live chats here is so we can talk and stuff like that. So, pulling it up. Sorry for looking away here. Uh, live now. All right. Do, do, do. Okay, we got a message. We got a message. Justin Frehley, don't eat the apples. It will kill you. Haha, <laughs> spoon of pig fat instead. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, how wide is the tape? Yeah, that's a really good question. Flup77. Uh, so, it's about like this, so um, it basically just cover, it covers your lips, right? And again, there's many other options out there. Sony Fix is the most convenient, and I found that I've tried them all. Um, there's nothing more frustrating to trying to embark on a new habit when it takes a lot of extra time in your day, and that's where the Sony Fix is great. Um, you know, because when you're trying to change a new habit, starting to mouth tape and all that. And by the way, guys, in the YouTube description below, I have the resources and links of things we're talking about right here. Uh, up next, I want to share with you an ingredient called Myo Inositol and why you should consider it, especially if you're interested in becoming more insulin, you know, having better insulin uh, sensitivity, blood sugar regulation, and blood sugar health. We're going to talk about that. And the side benefit, of course, is not only good blood sugar regulation, but of course improved sleep. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But I want to make sure that we get to your questions. Hey there from Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Thanks for being on. Good to see you, Jose. What's going on with mouth tapers? Yeah, mouth tapers unite. So nose breathing, that's what we're really talking about here, guys. That's the benefit. So mouth taping just simply fosters nose breathing, which is great. Uh, and again, uh, for those of you just hopping on, I was sharing a story about how I gave away my Somni fix when I was filming last week with Dr. Gundry and Drew Manning and other people. And so I had to go to like a Walgreens super late. It was 1130 at night, get some, uh, get some 3M micropore tape, and no kidding, it was in the dark trying to find the end. And it was so frustrating for me. And so that's why I'm just so grateful for Somnifix. All the links, guys, are below this video. 
Also, in the links in the description below this video, I have a free e-course for you, the Keto Foundations Masterclass. All you have to do is click that link. Uh, you can get three free videos. This will give you a little primer about how we do our e-courses and our Fat Adapted Insider and other courses where we kind of mix some of the practical, like here's what you eat, when to eat, and how, and all that sort of stuff, but also why these things work in different perspectives from people that are very knowledgeable and have been doing this a long time. So Dr. John Rowe, Dom D'Agostino, David Jockers, and others are in there. So check it out. Click the link below. And let's see what else, what else, what else? Oh, I've been reading a lot about um, some of the old research when it comes to... I'm going to share with you guys in another video. Uh, I got tons of research here I've been diving into I want to share with you. Um, it's really interesting. So there's some research coming out. Well, actually, this is very old. Not coming out. It's old research showing that macronutrient, different macronutrients may affect your energy expenditure. And so one of the things that's really cool though uh, about the ketogenic diet is when you normally, when you restrict your calories, your resting metabolic rate drops. It's Jason Fung and many other people have talked about this. This is why yo-yo diets often fail because, you know, yeah, people lose a little bit of weight, but as their weight gets lost, their metabolic rate goes down and they don't really you know, stay at that rate for a long period of time, you know, at that body weight, then they start to gain weight and their, their resting metabolic rate is lower. Uh, this, Rachel Larder published this research back in 2010 in the journal Nature, and this, is, this was um, seen in individuals who was published in New England Journal of Medicine, uh, where individuals went on a very low calorie diet, and they tracked their resting metabolic rate and energy expenditure a year after the fact, and then 18 months after the fact, and their metabolic rate was significantly decreased compared to baseline, and they only did a low calorie diet for eight, or it was 12 weeks. So think about that, right? Like how many people go on a low calorie diet often, and they're, they keep, you know, regaining the weight, right? So think about that. Now, a new research paper did come out suggesting that the ketogenic diet is different. Unlike a low calorie diet, a low calorie ketogenic diet tends to have a buffering effect against this uh, weight loss associated reduction in your resting metabolic rate. Okay? I think that's cool. I think that's one of the side benefits and, and one of the things we, um, you know, kind of call this metabolic advantage to the ketogenic diet. All right? So, interesting stuff, isn't it? Um, let's see here. Photos in the way. Yeah, sorry about that, Kevin GC. Um, Miguel says, question, I have a deviated septum, septum and generally wake up so congested that I end up breathing through my mouth when I wake up. How can I ensure that I won't choke or gasp for air when I wake? Well, again, that's the benefit of the Somnifix. Um, it, it's easy to just pop off. I mean, I shouldn't say it's so easy that it's just going to fall off on its own, but in an emergency, deviated septum, allergies, mold, your nasals, you know, your nose is congested, you can pop it off, okay? Whereas when you do a lot of the micro, the other types of tape, micropore tape and others, sometimes in an emergency, like I've had to sneeze sometimes, uh, this time of year, it hasn't happened yet, knock on wood. I normally like it, I sneeze periodically, just randomly uh, from all the pollen that's in the air and stuff like that. And uh, <laughs> I remember last year at this time, I. One, one morning, I was trying to get the, my, the micropore tape off and I couldn't and I sneezed and it just was really uncomfortable because it was like a big sneeze and I couldn't open my mouth and I, I couldn't get the tape off fast enough. So uh, Miguel, that, you're not going to have that problem with the Somnifix, all right, because it's, you can just peel it off like that. Uh, and you can put it back on like if you need to speak to your spouse or your child, okay? Uh, cool tea, yeah, uh, Hazel, if you want one of these teas, hit the comment bar and then I can reply to you when they're available or when we know more about it, guys. So again, if you guys are digging this content right now, hit that like button, that lets me know that you like these live videos because it's been a little while since I've done one just because I've been traveling so much. Um, so how wide is the tape? We talked about that, extreme close up. It's, you know what? I have my 35 millimeter prime lens on this. I don't mean to be that close, but I didn't have time to set up the microphone, so I wanted the camera close so that the microphone would come through. So, anyway, sorry about that. What's up from Australia? I've uh, been using micro pore tape for about a year. Now I've decided to grow a beard, and it is painful to remove the tape and also not sealing as well. Any other solutions? I got it for you, brother, right here, the Somnifix, because whether you have a beard or a goatee, sometimes on the weekends, I can't see now, uh, I let my stubble, whatever, grow out. And uh, 
with the other types of tapes out there, it, it loses its adhesive because hair grows in. But this is designed for humans. It fits on your lips, my man. So uh, I believe the Somnifix folks are getting distribution in Australia soon. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Can see you. Um, I know it's a little late, later than normal. All right. Let's talk myo-inositol, friends. Let me just see if there's any other questions that you guys got. Um, yeah. Okay. So no more questions uh, about that. All right. Myo-inositol. So we're talking about this. I, I put a link in this uh, YouTube description. So I formulated this product, okay? Myo Relax and Calm. Here's what's really unique about it. It has L-theanine, magnesium, taurine, myo-inositol, all in one, and GABA, all in one combination. So this is something that my wife and I just literally, we swear by. It really enhances your sleep at night. Uh, for, and as a side benefit, you're getting electrolytes in there, taurine and so forth, magnesium, but also you're getting myo-inositol. This is a hidden, I shouldn't say hidden, this is a under-recognized blood sugar supportive health product, uh, ingredient. So myo-inositol, there's some cool research on this. We'll of course, we're not preventing, treating, or, or curing any diseases here. We're just talking about the science for regular healthy people like you and I that, you know, how supplements can maybe help with that. So myo-inositol has been shown to affect LDL particle size in men, overweight men. So this was a clinical study. I'll put the study notes in here afterwards. I didn't have time to do it right beforehand because so you can hear my wife cooking, kids in the yard. This is like spontaneous. But anyway, myo-inositol is a really cool micronutrient for how it affects the blood sugar regulatory system and LDL particle size and number. So we know that LDL, associating LDL cholesterol with heart disease, it's not, there's not a lot of good data there, but we do know that LDL particle size tends to have a more of a correlative effect with atherosclerosis or the formation of plaque within the arterial system. And myo-inositol has been shown to affect LDL particle size. It's also been shown, there's a lot of research in myo-inositol in women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Again, we're not curing, preventing, treating any diseases here. We're just talking about the science. Myo-inositol affects the androgenic hormones that are associated with or caused by insulin resistance. So in PCOS, here's what's interesting. Insulin resistance tends to create like these sexual dimorphisms in men and women. And what, what I mean by that is when you become overweight and insulin resistant as a man, you exert less androgenic, uh, pheno, uh, less androgenic phenotype, more estrogenic. The opposite happens to women. They become more androgenic, less estrogenic. And for women, that translates and the ramifications of that are polycystic ovaries, facial hair growth, uh, male pattern baldness, things like that. The consequences for men becoming less androgenic, more estrogenic due to insulin resistance and high levels of insulin is man boobs, um, you know, a lot, low T, uh, fat gain, visceral adipose tissue gain, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, we tend to, you know, blame low T on low testosterone. Like, oh, here's your problem. It's just, you need to get your testosterone up. But what if the problem is higher up? What if the problem is because insulin is being at super physiologic levels due to the dietary changes, poor sleep habits, you know, not nose breathing while you're sleeping, uh, not exercising, low muscle mass, etc. So we want to look upstream. This is a core tenant in functional medicine is really getting at the root cause of what's going on, um, not band-aiding symptoms, right? And so anyhow, myonostol has been shown to help both in men and in women affect blood sugar regulation, blood sugar health overall, and therefore may translate into better hormonal regulation. So that's what we like it. Myo Relax and Calm. It's on Amazon, guys. The supplement company is Myo Science. That's our very own product line. So just kind of let you know about some of these things periodically that, that we personally take. And that, that's it. So anyway, hope you enjoy uh, some of that research. If you have any questions about Myo Nostal, let me know. Um, I will uh, I'll let you guys know a little bit more about it. It's something that... Uh, I've been wanting to put together and, and provide to you guys because there's not a lot of good tasting powders of this ingredient with taurine and magnesium. Of course, those, as I mentioned, can affect electrolyte balance. Uh, they're great for bowel motility. They're good for you know, heart health. Taurine is one of my favorite nutrients. Guess what? It's found in meat. A lot of people are not getting good quality meat anymore. So that's why I like taurine. So um, got some myelinostol. I'm about to take myself right now. Cool. ADRN. Well, if you want a powdered form, that's full of synthetic sweet. That's uh, free of synthetic sweeteners. Check it out. It's on Amazon. Myo Relax and Calm. 
what else we got? What else we got? Uh, GQ Kevin says, when I reach my body fat goal uh, percentage by doing keto, should I stay in a maintenance phase before trying to add muscle weight? I started at 185 pounds and this morning I'm 171. All right, so if I heard you correctly, uh, GQ Kevin, you're trying to lose body fat and then once you get to a certain level of body fat percentage you want, you want to regain muscle. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Uh, let me just let me just give you a little insight here, though. One of the kings in this whole I just met with Stan Efforting. He's fifty. This is a podcast, guys. So if you guys are on our insider circle, guess what? You get early access to all these podcasts. This interview with the Stan Efforting. Uh, he's the world's strongest professional bodybuilder. Uh, awesome, awesome dude. I'm just gonna leave this picture up because I love <laughs> Stan. Is such a cool guy. Uh, number one. Uh, Number two, so here's some things you need to know uh, about Stan and some things that he talks about. You know, uh, it is possible to burn fat and build muscle at the same time. So what I would focus on, GQ, Kevin, um, is, ma is making sure your workouts, your strength is not declining. Because what can happen uh, when you're losing fat is your, is your strength can decline and you can lose muscle mass at the same time. So it really depends on how you're losing the fat, how much cardio you're doing, how much carbs you're having after your workout. So I would say is, you know, let's say you get down to whatever, 12% that you want. Um, okay, that's cool. Start having more post-workout carbohydrates. That will help you to put on more muscle mass. Now, I know some of you keto people are like, oh my gosh, did he just really say have more carbohydrates? Yeah, in the post-workout window, and make sure that the carb intake is commensurate with your workload. If you're not working that hard, you don't need 300 grams of carbs, folks. We're talking like 30, 50 grams uh, if you're really training hard a few days a week. That can help you put on lean muscle mass. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to dump this picture with Stan as much as I love him. Uh, but if you want early access to that interview, like I said, sign up for the, click the link below this. And all of our interviews, like right after I film, I put it in our insider member area. So on our Patreon page, on our membership circle and so forth, uh, if you guys want first dibs on all that, you got the rough cuts right there. Nina Teichold, we got Sarah Hallberg, we got Ben Bickman part two, we got Drew Manning, I mean, ton, Stephen Gundry, Stan Efforting, like, dude, it's loaded, loaded with cool stuff. Um, so if you want that, check it out. So hopefully that helps, GQ Kevin. I don't know if that totally does, um, but that's, a, that's something that, that might help you. You know, again, so just to summarize, if you want to put on muscle, you can do it low carb and keto, but in the post-workout window, especially on intense days, you need to have some carbohydrates, man. It's gonna help you. I know it sounds counterintuitive. I know it's different from what Jeff Volick is saying, but let me just be totally real with you guys. I started doing low carb, like high fat. Um, I'm not saying I've been keto this long, but I started in 2002. A friend of mine, a bodybuilder friend of mine, Greg, in Northern California, I was working at a Gold's Gym. A lot of athletes there were doing keto and, and I could smell their breath. I didn't want to do that. But he just told me like, look, if you want to get lean for the summer, it was about this time, May of 2002, it was a long, long time ago. He's like, look man, have half a jar of almond butter per day, cut out your carbohydrates. And I lost strength, but I shredded up. Like, you know, cause I started working out when I was 14. So this was like five years of working out under my belt. And I started doing this. And that's when I realized that like manipulating your carbohydrates and fat intake, the proportions of that was great for fat loss. It wasn't until 2014 uh, that I met with Alessandro Ferretti, which I've told you guys this story many, many times, that I realized that ketones in and of themselves have more, not extracurricular, but more pleiotropic secondary effects, meaning they affect the epigenome, they affect uh, the inflammatory system, they affect parasympathetic tone, right? So they, they do a lot of different beneficial things in mitochondrial biogenesis, all that. And so that's now why, as I'm about to be 36 here in a few months, why I'm more excited about longevity, uh, anti-aging, preventing chronic disease, you know, because, you know, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, you know, dementia, all these diseases, you know, uh, age is an element, age is a factor. And uh, yeah, as we get older, things change, right? So that's why I'm, I'm interested in more now about the keto thing. But anyway, going back to that, you know, since <clears throat> starting that in 2002, I realized that like, if you go too low carb for too long, and I'm talking like if you're lifting hard and heavy, this is just my personal opinion. You could disagree with me or not. Stan Efforting will agree with me. He's 51 years old. You know, post-workout, even if you're keto and you lift hard and you want to build muscle, you, you want to have some carbohydrates post-workout. Not every single day, not excessive amounts, but easy to digest carbs. Trust me, it'll help you with your hypertrophy. Um, all right, so let's get back to the questions here. We've got a bunch of them. 
Uh, Stefan Thompson says, mouth taping works, period. So simple a solution. Stefan, love it, great. Uh, Miguel says, would you recommend mouth taping while exercising? <laughs> that's a great, wonderful question. I would absolutely recommend it. In fact, that's the, I think, anything that you do under pressure, um, like for example, like I'm talking to you right now, I'm not necessarily stressed, but it's under pressure. Uh, you know, just talking to you under pressure or giving a presentation to other people is gonna force you to really consolidate your facts and solidify them in your head, right? And so when you're gonna rewire those neurological pathways much faster, okay? So when you exercise while you mouth tape, guess what? You'll notice that you're, you're really gonna be nose breathing throughout the day much more your subconscious like neurology is going to be firing better. So I would highly recommend it. Um, I, I, I do it quite frequently. Uh, I, to be honest, I just kind of forget about it. I should. <laughs> Thanks for that, uh, Miguel. Uh, another thing that you can do um, when you're just sitting around like at work or whatever, is, uh, it sounds stupid. Um, a, a myofunctional therapist <laughs> told me this trick back in 2005. Um, just take a, t uh, a pen, something, put it in your lips. So, obviously by doing that, you're forcing yourself to breathe through your nose, okay? So, when you're just sitting at your desk and you don't have your somni fixed mouth tape around, you can just hold the pen for like, put, put a timer on your watch or your iPhone or whatever for five minutes, and then afterwards you'll notice that your lips are more sealed after the fact. You can do something a little bit smaller. Oh, fuck. Computer just died. Hey, bus. I need a cup, but it needs to be outside. All right, I don't know if we're on, guys. Sorry, my computer literally just died. Um, are you still there? I don't even know if you guys are here. <laughs> um, I, I think you're still there. So, sorry, computer crashed. Um, any chance you're going to interview Dr. Jerry Walls? Yeah, I'm not sure on that, Chris. Uh, I don't know her, but she, I know she's doing some really cool things. Uh, let's see here. We're back on. Sorry about my computer just died, man. What's going on with this? MacBook Pro. It's like the new version I just got. Um, all right, so since I have a few of you still here, um, I have a few questions for you. When I go on and, and do these interviews, um, I've been vlogging. Do you guys, and I have a lot of footage and need to edit, it's gonna take time. Do you want to see that? So that's behind the scenes stuff, that's how to eat when you're traveling, that's what sort of foods you buy on a budget, uh, that's behind the scenes rough cuts from the people, like I said, Dr. Ben Bickman, Stan Efferding, Sarah Hallberg, many, many others that are amazing. Do you want to see that or not? Like, should I edit that for you? Uh, if so, let me know. Um, I'm back. Yeah. So, should I? Would you like to see vlogs? More vlog style, but more behind the scenes stuff like food, fitness, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah. I wanted, like, when I created this channel in 2014, I wanted to be a little bit different. And I knew everyone was kind of following Casey Neistat and doing the vlog kind of thing. Um, and that's cool, that's popular and everything like that, but uh, I wanted to keep it like more cinematic, you know, Netflix original style interviews that are like high, well done. Um, but if you want vlog style stuff, then I'll work on it. But I just, it's a lot of time to edit and uh, I've only made like two of them. And I remember the, you guys didn't, eh, you were like, whatever, you know. Uh, but if you want, but now we have a lot more, a lot of new subscribers, you know, since then. So anyway, let me know on that. If you want vlogs, if you want, just hit that comment bar. I uh, see a few of you saying yes, yes, more vlogs, etc. Cool guys. Um, so that's it. Uh, so Jacqueline says something about here. L let me read Jacqueline's uh, question here. I think it might benefit all of you. Um, that's what I figured out from super high carb and starts vegan diet, keto is a good transition, etc. Egg goes back. Cool. All right. So. Uh, I'm gonna go hang out with the nets, go hang out with the chickens and everything like that, guys. I really, really appreciate you coming on. I'm gonna do a lot more of these, and then I'll, I'll get the vlogs rolling. I'll start editing tomorrow, and that way it'll give you a little preview of like the podcasts that are coming up, and and maybe if you decide to become an insider, 
uh, join our Patreon, then, then you can watch the full ones if you're interested. So that's it. I'm going to part ways. Remember, breathe through your nose. Become a mouth breather. Become a nose breather. Stop mouth breathing. Um, start with little trip, uh, tips during the day, like holding a pen between your lips. Uh, as someone had mentioned, you know, using the Somnifix mouth tape while you're exercising, all those things can help train your neurology so that when you lie down in bed, it's not so weird or foreign to be breathing through your nose. So I'm going to sign off. Thanks so much for tuning all the way through. If you like this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. That lets me know that you like this content and we can create more similar content around these topics. All right, friends, we'll catch you on the next video. Hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Awesome evening. Uh, wherever you are watching this in the world, uh, while I'm nav while I'm navigating to the YouTube uh, back end here, I'm just gonna keep talking to you. Um, so we're almost to the back end. <laughs> Got to find it. Uh, stream now events camera. It's kind of funny I'm trying to find the uh, the back end of the live stream live control room. You, I love YouTube, but there's a lot of like. Uh, funky ways to navigate stuff. All right, I'm going to sign off, guys. I'm going to hit this end now. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.